Hi, good evening, everybody. Yay! It's a nice um, day. Um, this is a Friday. Uh, you know, we normally will stream about this time um, on a Friday evening, um, and uh, this is like the third uh, Friday evening, third Friday of the month. And normally for the, you know, we always have a limited palette challenge um, beginning of the month. And, uh, you know, we have been doing like for the past three weeks, uh, something related to this palette over here, right? Um, this um, palette called the uh, Limited... Oh, hi Nancy! Good morning Nancy! Hello! I received your your uh, submission and they, it, your, your plum pudding looks up so delicious. It's so juicy. <laughs> and do you mix all the three colors together to get to get that nice juicy purple color? That is really really nice. And hello to Juan. Good evening to you. Today is let me see, four hours ahead. You are 2 a.m. <laughs> oh my god. Okay, let's get on with it. Okay, otherwise you will sleep really really late and hope. How are you keeping awake? <laughs> oh, oh okay. Yeah. You're hiding? <gasps> really? What? Pain in hiding is out the oak. Oh, really? She did? What? I have not seen that video. Ooh, who? Who gave it to her? <laughs> I wonder who sent her some stuff. <laughs> okay, anyway, so this week, yeah, we are having um, show and tell. So awesome. And uh, we are going to have... Does it look like it's a little bit like off? <laughs> Hold on for a minute, yeah? Let me just adjust something. The focus is a little bit off. It's so strange. Hold on, Hold on for a minute. Let me just kind of adjust something again. I'm sorry. My, um, uh, my camera is weird. Like the program kind of got... It's kind of frozen, so you just have, want to just give me a few moments, okay? I I'm I'm actually uh, around. It's just me trying to get ah look at that. The focus is so bad. Okay, it's better now, isn't it? Okay, yeah. Okay, exposure. Okay, looks good. All right. So um so this week we are going. So today we are going to do the portrait, and I know Tu has done the portrait. Very very good job. So later on, you guys can see it. I compiled everything and actually so so. Six, six, art. So, art six. <laughs> oh, six. She, she actually did the, um, uh, what do you call that? Uh, also another, she did a portrait, but of, of, of the other person. So, we, 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 I could share it later on, all right? Um, do you know if you want to tell? Yay. All right. So, this is, was what we did. Uh, first week, we did the, um, yeah, later on, we'll go through this, okay? So, before I do this, remember... Yeah, she did. She actually, this is, I think, her third time, second or third time she submitted something. But she, 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 she paints what she liked, which is fine, you know, like, all, in, in the end, all we want is people to, uh, unboxing? Uh, no, I'm doing a little, I'm doing a, 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 a lucky draw, because we know we have people who wanted the, um, uh, you know, like, I, I, for the last video on the White Knight's Pain, I actually did like a kind of a giveaway thing and I, I, I said that I would actually do like lucky draw today. So I am going to do the lucky draw now, like now. So I, I so remember I had the video. Uh, maybe I should just turn the volume off a bit a bit. Okay. Yeah, remember this video that I actually did, right? Um like recently? Uh, on the um, super granulating colors. I mean, sorry, not super granulating. The granulating colors from White Knights. So there are all these comments um, and people saying that they, you know, I, I just told them like you need to just say like you want the the the, the dot cards and then I would actually give out three. Hi Gina. Hi hi. Good morning. Hi hi hi. Hi pain in hiding. Hi 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 hi. <laughs> yes, too hard. So he actually set an alarm <laughs> to wake up early enough. <laughs> Okay, so now I'm gonna do the um it's 35 minutes <laughs> what <laughs> So it has been keeping you awake the painting what what oh I should I should go actually yeah I should go look at what, what video she has put out. Pain in hiding pain in hiding in hiding hold on in hiding there you go alright so what is the latest video that she put up? 
Let's see. Ooh. Is this a new one? Video? New? Is that a new video? Is that a new video? <laughs> yeah, is that is that you? Is that you? <laughs> She's like, what? <laughs> what video? <laughs> what was the color fairy? Which one? I didn't see that one. Okay, never mind. You can share this here. Someone wanna share the video so that we all can all go see the water, the watercolor fairy video. So anyway, eto yeah yes. So Gina says she's happened to wake up early. It's five. It's five a.m. Like is it five a.m. right now? Oh no, so early. <gasps> oh, you should be sleeping. So anyway, yeah yeah yeah. I was talking about the lucky draw. So now, um, I have put all those people's name, um, into the into a little. You know, like how we always use this wheel plus thingy like the wheel plus thingy right to do the the spinning to do some something like a lucky draw so i put everybody's name over here and then for people who have already approached me right uh hi ash boy good evening ash boy how are you oh is it afternoon for you yes good afternoon hello oh it's okay it's 7 a.m now it's 5 a.m wake up is really really so early <laughs> i I cannot remember the last time I woke up at 5 a.m. <laughs> I cannot. So anyway, for the lucky draw, I actually had uh, people who, who, you know, who wanted their, the, the dot cards, the white knights dot, card, dot cards, um, you know, just give me their names. And then um, for those people who actually gave, provided their email address, I actually gave them two chances. So for example, like Lily here, there's two Lilies here. And there's two Tracy K. And there's two Ma Mari, Mari, Mari Ram. Yeah, so they're actually two choices, two two chances for them. Ah, Gina has the 36 full pair white knights. That is really, really good. Hi, hi, hi. Hello, DR Jazz Pro. Hi, hi. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> oh, you're doing good? Waiting for the bus? Are you going to school <laughs> right now? <laughs> or are you going out somewhere? <laughs> okay, so um, let me turn on the volume. So I'm supposed to pick up three names over here and uh, I will contact you. Uh, whoever is watching, I'm not sure if people who have submitted their names for the lucky draw. I'm not sure if you're watching. If you are, um, yeah, I, I, I pray for you that you will get it, okay? I hope you have good luck. Hi, CB! Yay! CB is here! Hello! Yeah, so let me uh, spin right now. So we do have, I think, a good 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. So we repeated to three person's name. So that's actually maybe nine people. Um, and out of them, um, three will get run or walk away with the lucky, I mean, with the dot card. So uh, let me start. All right, I hope the volume is on because this is pretty cute. I really, really like, quite like this one. Let's go, start. Hey, there's no sound. Why isn't there a sound? Okay, anyway. <gasps> who, who? Oh, okay. Rat Doll Libby. So, Rat Doll Libby is getting one, uh, one dot card. Okay. So, I'm just gonna kind of like write this down somewhere in case I forgot. She didn't give me her, her email address like before this eating. So, I'm trying, I'll try to like get her. But if not, then, um, yeah, I do hope that I will be able to get her. If not, it will go to someone else, okay? Alright, so congratulations to Ragdoll Libby. I still can't find a piece of paper. Like, what? <laughs> Hold on for a minute. So I go get like a piece of paper to write her name down. Okay? Awesome. Okay, so there you go. Ragdoll Libby. Alright, so we are left with... Uh, so, you know, this is how it goes. Like, I actually remove the names. Oh, I know why. Okay, I actually this this wheel will remove a name once it's like like picked. So let's go. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Mara. Okay, Mariam. Yay, Mariam. You have the other one. Okay, I like that that drum roll thing. Okay, and we are gonna draw the third time. <laughs> <laughs> nice sound effect. Okay, let's go. So, last person. Who's gonna get it? The dot card. I like to do this. Is she gonna get it again? <gasps> Witch Revenge Art. Okay, so hey, there you go. So, Witch, Witch's Revenge Art. Okay, so the three of you, uh, if you're watching, congratulations. You're walking away with the dot cards. Awesome. Alright. 
So I will be contacting you. I think I have Mari Ram's um, email already. So um, these are the other two whom has has not provided that email. So maybe I'll draw two more person, right? So if they, uh, I can't reach them, I would actually uh, you know, go down to the reserve. So I'm just gonna write reserve over here, right? Um, I shall turn down the volume. All right, start. Oh wait, hold on. Did I just reset it? No, I didn't. It's Marie Ram again. Oh, I think I reset it. Oh no. Okay, I'm just gonna like kind of do that until uh, we do get like another two names. There. No, she's like, <laughs> she's so lucky. <laughs> again. <laughs> what is happening here? <laughs> she's about like, like I think this wheel loves her like so much. All right, sunlight. Okay, so we have two reserves. I'm gonna pick another reserve. So I do hope that, um, yeah, we, it's fast. We shall. <gasps> okay, all right. So it's BK Snow 125, I think. So these are the reserves. So if I can't reach the three of them, yeah, I know, right? Like, Marina? Is she Marina? No, she's, I'm not sure. I think she's Marina, I think. <laughs> It's pretty fun, isn't it? Right? Like, is it like a lottery thing? And Gina says, I think it would be fun to make my own dot cards with my mission. Oh, I'm sure it is. Art wheel tubes. Maybe you can do an exchange. I think it'll be fun. Like, we will do like a 10, like your favorite palette, 12 colors, and, and we can do like an exchange for Christmas. I think we are kind of like thinking, toying with the idea of doing like a postcard kind of stuff, um, like exchange. So maybe you could do a dot card exchange. I think that'll be fun. Like we will, we will put together in, in our, uh, uh, um, maybe a, a, a piece of paper like this, right? Just a normal art paper, like a watercolor paper. And then we'll just make like a set of 12 colors or 10 or five, you know, five favorite colors. And we just post it to the next person. I think that would be interesting. Who, who's, who want to take part in it? We could do like that, like for, yeah, it'd be fun, right? Like, I think we can do that. Oh, oh, just to really, and and this is what this is what Pain in Hiding sent me, right? So it's actually some dot cards which I have not opened because I'm gonna open it next week. All right, so next week I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna swatch it so you guys can see what she sent. Um, and thank you so much, Pain in Hiding, for sending that to me. Yeah. So Gina says, yeah, she she will try to. Uh, I'm not sure if Mari Ram is Marina, <laughs> but yeah, I think so. I'm not very really sure. <laughs> oh, Gina says. Oh, great idea. I've never mailed anything but birthday cards. You're in? All right. Awesome. Yay. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe we'll do that for, for I don't know. Maybe we'll do that for like festivals. Um, the next one would be um, um, Halloween. <laughs> we could do a Halloween exchange and then later on we can do like a December Christmas exchange. And then we can all have like a set and we just send to everybody. I think that'll be fun. We try, I try to arrange something, okay? So anyway, let's start with the show and tell. I'm so excited to share show and tell. So this is something that we can all do as uh, uh, together. I think it'll be fun. I, I, yeah, I think it'll be nice for me to share because I really do have quite a lot of watercolor, as you guys know, right? So I don't really mind sharing with everybody. Okay, right. So now I'm going to uh, do the uh, show and tell. Yay. All right. So let's go. So today, this week, um let me where is it okay i'm gonna just play it right now so this is our um oh there you go oh no what happened to it oh no hold on okay <laughs> did anything happen <laughs> okay <laughs> sorry i need to like kind of make it a bit small so you guys oh it became tiny okay <laughs> i have to make it bigger <gasps> what happened hold on hold on hold on hold on all right for some reason it's just Weird. Hey, hold on. Hello. What happened to it? Sorry. Hold on. Eh? Let me adjust it so it's big. Okay. Right now. So we started off. Let me like kind of redo this again. Okay. Sorry. Cool. So 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 so. Right. So I'll show and tell. Um, this month, um, it is uh the Claire de Lune, and we started with P. Right. So for P, we had uh Paolo's uh, birthday cake. Which brings us to why is Paolo not around? <laughs> but yeah, anyway, um, maybe he's busy, okay? I think I heard that he actually wanted to make a cake, but I'm not sure whether he actually made it today. But 
anyway. Um, and I was using the three colors and also a little bit of yellow because I know, like we all know, these three colors that we have, the um, uh, we can't make we can't make anything yellow or orange out of them. So I had to include a yellow because otherwise you end up as like our previous um challenge where we didn't have a yellow and everything was just like moldy. <laughs> so luckily today I didn't this this week this month I added a yellow and I didn't have to make like a moldy cake this time. So yay! All right, then okay let's. Go and see our next submission. Yeah, Paolo's not here. Oh man. And we have Nancy. Yay, so I'm saying like how um, juicy her, her plum, which is the, Nancy, which is the actual one. Like you actually gave me two. So are you referring to the one on the uh, left hand side or the right hand side? Which one is the actual one? But actually to me, it doesn't matter because both of them look really, really good. <laughs> they look so juicy and I think you know that 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 purple that the lavender you get in the middle there is really like quite an exemplifying it really is like how you mix all three colors together and this is what you get that that you know how it has it looks like it has got nice texture ah the blue plate is the, blue plate is the submission also oh, you're saying the crayons so the crayon is on the uh, right hand side yeah it looks really like a Christmassy thing isn't it ah so you could do something like that for Christmas. I wonder what Chris for Christmas December. What would what what alphabet that would be like Q R S maybe? Then you could do something like Santa's something. <laughs> oh yeah, Paolo could be doing a double doggy walking. I I know right. Maybe he brought the dogs to a spa session, so it's like spa plus walk. <laughs> so he couldn't make it for for today's session. Hey, but it's okay <laughs> yeah so yeah anyway thanks nancy for your submission and i think did you what colors did you use do you use viridian um and a red a phalo green or do you use viridian and which red did you use and and the the blue looks like a phalo blue or is it a no 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 it looks like a um what do you call that maybe a ultramarine blue you know i think nancy is one of those most consistent person like she consistently submits for the desserts so maybe I could give her like a, an award for it. So maybe at the end of the year, we would do like a, a, a you know, most consistent dessert uh, painter award for her. <laughs> and then maybe Zuhua will get an award for, for the most consistent portrait painter award. <laughs> because these two, these two people, you almost, almost see them every, every time. And they're always painting the same thing, which is like, hmm. <laughs> ah, okay. Arizarine Crimson. <laughs> Viridian Ultramarine Blue <laughs> Most consistent portrait painter and most consistent <laughs> Yellow Cadmium, I see, okay Yeah, you do have all the three colours I think Alizarin uh, Crimson, uh, Viridian Ultramarine Blue These are the three colours, kind of Although I think we're using uh, Pyros Crimson But I think the colour looks pretty similar They're all quite cool, red So I think, yeah, good job, good job Clap Yay, thanks for that. And you said you use crayon, right? For the one on the right hand side. So uh <laughs> he also likes yellow cadmium. Um I don't know about ca cadmium yellow. Uh I'm okay with cadmium yellow. I think it's a little bit too opaque for me. Uh, my favorite is of course azo yellow, uh, because it's like brown and yet uh yeah. Oh and, and and you guys I think if I'm free, um oh it will kind of come we have to decide on our next with a limited palette challenge and I think we would do that next week uh, where I also I will also like swatch these at the same time all right I will be painting so we'll be swatching this and then deciding on our limited palette challenge for the next week and I'm actually thinking uh, for the next month I'm I'm thinking about yellow so if you guys have any yellow that you especially like want to try like I think I'm thinking of earthy uh, earthy granulating yellow you know like raw sienna that kind of thing so if you have anything that you you kind of want to try and yet have not tried before i don't know you can think of it like off your head like what would you then you know choose to to kind of uh you know suggest that we would actually put into our next challenge yeah so think about it guys um and then next we have la, 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 la. yay okay so this is your Silk Art, right? Silk Art 06. So this is what she did. She actually used all the four colors, but she does, she did use a little bit more yellow. Um, okay, reason why, like that's her, she did a portrait and that is part of a challenge that she, that she's doing um, for like an Instagram um, hashtag. Um, so there's this challenge going on every, every week. 
um, that that is uh, coined by two artists in in Singapore, and they call it the uh, Kamosa Bay Kamosa Bay Art Challenge. So they, I think this is a, a bar- ballerina, a very famous pa- bar- ballerina, and and she, that she happened to be like the the, the challenge, uh, the the portrait. I think they do different things like every every week. So I'm not sure for this week. Let me just kind of check like what was the theme, um, for for that. Uh, let me check. Yeah, let me just kind of check what it was. I think it was just um yeah, just a portrait. Oh, her name. Oh, she she oh Misty Copeland, right? She's the first American African American who became a principal ballerina, um at the American Ballet Theater. Yeah, so awesome, right? So that is really just a theme. But anyway, I think this is quite a nice portrait. Reference with picture because one side of her face is like well lit up and the other side has shadows. So it oh it oh you guys know really, <gasps> yeah the values right like can you see it's very cool like how she actually used shows you were saying like um she wanted to use some colors like she put some water and then what happened was she made the the paper was like kind of like um leaning to one side so the the, the color and the water just went down <laughs> so it was it's pretty funny. Um, um, like she, she mentioned that that was her, the issue that she got and, and I think I, she also tried to add a little bit of splatter which is very cool I think it's very interesting adding splatter is one of those things that you can you can do to add some texture and make the whole painting look a little bit more like um, carefree you know and, and a little bit less um, boring so I think this is one way to, to make it interesting so that, that's a good attempt although I, I, I must say she um, still has to uh, improve on, on the um, you know, try like me. Um, what I normally do for portrait is I will trace. So try tracing. Maybe that would help to improve the accuracy. But yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> then again, uh, I think it's a good good way to 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 try out this palette and also try out the uh, actual doing sketching uh, of it. So I think she used a uh, Hansa yellow, um, medium, ultramarine blue, viridian, and. Pyro, oh, pyro red, pyro red, right? Yeah, and they are they are all from Daniel Smith and Roman Smalls. So that's a tiny thing that I I, I could kind of make off <laughs> on the side. Okay, so that is uh silk art. Okay, give her a round of applause. Yay! Okay, next we have the it's me la. Is it me? Yeah, like me la. <laughs> So that was what I did last week, where we did the Misty Mountain, and and you you see here, I think last week was, um, our our uh, what do you call that, um, autumn festival, mid autumn festival, and and I wanted to make a moon, and I wasn't able to paint the moon in, but in the end, um, I think I was pretty lucky, like the a drop of water went onto the paper, and it seemed to be like made a, a moon. So yeah, lucky. <laughs> so yeah anyway so that, that was what I did um, then next uh, we have Zhu Huan yay awesome Zhu Huan is always the portrait uh, painter to look out for I, I really quite like how he did this one like did you trace or was it was it like uh, was it tracing or you, you actually sketched this I think this is this is really well done like I could actually like see this as like a, oh, oh you gone rusty, feels muddy. No, no, I think the colors, Um, I, I quite like how you actually make different colors. Like this one, this here, the one like the background does look like it is like um, uh, mixed with the three colors together, giving us that very close to um, uh, the, the moon glow kind of colors. I think it would be nice. I mean, it's nice that like how you actually did, did it now. Are you using the Bao Hong cold press paper? Like, I think it's nice that you actually paint it this way. You trace the head. <laughs> I think I'm gonna trace. I don't worry. No shame in it. I'm gonna trace. So I, yeah, it's okay. It's fine. Um. So I, what I'll do, I think, was suggest that you could also drop water. So while like that background is kind of drying up, you can add water to it, and then you know you could actually see all these uh you know the 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 water the the the, the, the separation of colors um in that three colors that you and uh, maybe it'd be good to add a bit of like a loose loose up the loose up the the edges. Um, for maybe the left hand side, her the side where she put her hand up, 
think you could put a bit of yeah 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 well I mean just a suggestion but I think this is really good I really quite like all the colors that you can get especially like the eyes and then also her chin like below the the lower lip where you actually did the, the shadow I think that that is really really nice that that looks like give it the the, the three three dimensional effect and, and yeah, in general, I think this is really a very good piece. I could kind of imagine it as like a really big, like A1 size, and then um, like a oil painting kind of thing. I think for this piece also, the hard part is actually to depict the, the glasses because it's transparent, and then it's kind of difficult. Yeah, I know, right? It's so realistic. Like the transparent part of it, I think that is a bit hard for that. Yeah, it's, it is so excellent. Awesome. So this is such a good piece of work. Maybe I could do something like that <laughs> and then you can paint me. <laughs> so I am going to trace this and, and also to paint it today. So I, I hate to draw hands, but this is her, the hands, like his hand was really good. Like that is really, really good. Good job. Good job. Awesome. Excellent. Excellent. Woo -woo. So you, are you going to put this on... Uh, what do you call that? A um, museum, um, the sketchy app. Because I think it, you know, I hope. Yeah, I think you should. Yeah, I mean, what I can do, sorry, is that I would actually upload it mine, and then I would tag her, and then you could. You could then do the same because I think it would be difficult to find the actual one. You know what I mean? Yeah, do try it. Sometimes they really like it, so that that would be a nice encouragement um, like it does kind of uh, makes you happy hey, hey, hey. oh you never find uh, maybe you could go to mine and then you kind of just download it anyway thank you guys thanks to Juan thanks uh, Seo uh, and, and, and Nancy awesome thank you very much <laughs> oh Gina says oh she paint girls faces not realistic should you start using photograph yeah you should um, we always have this, we share all these reference photographs um, for, for uh, the challenge. So if you want to, do let me know. I will share it like maybe a week before or something so that you can prepare and then you can, you can paint it on your own. Yay, awesome. Thank you so much. And, and, uh, and, and CV says, I got to hand it to Zhu Huan. It looks great. <laughs> awesome. Thank you everyone for your good job. So it's always hard to... I mean, it's it's hard to paint like so consistently, but I'm 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 really um, you know impressed with uh Tu Huan and and Nancy for being like very consistent. Like I we can almost see them almost every. Hey, Rap Sophie, you missed the show and tell. Oh no! Let me just kind of quickly like roll back. <laughs> oh yeah yeah yes, I hope that Chris um CB you'll be able to get. Do you get your Kure Take? Are you able to start painting? So we have, this is Zhu Huan's work, okay, the awesome portrait, which I'm going to try to paint today. And then we have, this was last week's, right, Rep Sophie? And then this is from Shiok Art 06. So she painted a portrait from uh, the um, Instagram challenge. And then we have Nancy who painted the plum uh, pudding. So next month, I'm not sure if I'm going to do another P or I will do Q because... As far as I'm, I know, the only cue is the Quincy, Quincy pie. Is it Quincy pie? <laughs> or Quincy pudding? Which I'm like, mm, I have no idea what a Quincy looks like or, or tastes like. <laughs> so this is a quick little recap for, for, for Rep Sophie who just came in. Okay, and we also did a, like, a lucky draw. So these are the people who won. Oh, hold on. <coughs> let me, let me, uh, let me close this. Awesome. Thank you every very much, people. Always, always thank you guys for doing that um, sharing. Ah, Zuhua said, oh, you haven't checked yet. <laughs> okay, well, I brought up loads of Legos, so sorting out that. <laughs> I see you have a look over weekend. Look forward to using your Christmas rubber stamps. Oh, what, what do you do with the Christmas rubber stamp? Is that for, for making Christmas cards? Um, it's that kind of thing. Oh, wait, wait, you mean this kind like you have a archival ink and then you just stamp stuff, like you stamp stuff uh, with the archival ink. I have a lot of stamps, but I, I don't really use them very much. Yeah, but I, I find that very useful. Like you can actually stamp and then if you use archival ink, you can you can kind of like paint over. Ah, it's for Christmas cards, isn't it? Ah, yeah, I know, right? Like that is like probably the best way to to draw something and paint over it because there's no need for you to actually draw it. 
So yeah, you, you do do think about it. Like I'm probably gonna try to do the dot card exchange thing. I think it'll be fun. Fun experience for all. <laughs> Okay, so today um, it's my turn to paint the portrait and I I don't know. I wouldn't say I'm looking for it. I, I'm not looking forward to the hand because hands are so hard. Hands are like one of the most difficult. Oh, Gina says she has a large, a large stamp correct collection. As in like you collect, you collect stamps or you have a lot of stamp, stamps to, to, and for selling, for selling, sending out. Because I think there was once, like last year, we had someone um, do like a poster. Oh no! Ow! Oh no! Oh no! Okay, I, 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 I tore my washi tape. So we, we had like people um, did like a po puzzle, um, you know, and, and then a puzzle form. And then we, I, I was sending out stamps and it just disappeared. Because I know Nancy also loves stamps, right? Ah, <laughs> China, very cool. Yeah, so I think Nancy also uh does stamp collection, um and she she saw some of those really nice stamps, um uh, that I have and I I, I tried to send her a, a few but she didn't get it so I'm not sure what happened. <laughs> Do you change your your? I hope I can send you more, Nancy. I hope so. <laughs> Hands are hard. Yeah, I know. Hands, hands are hard for me as well. That is really bad. Oh, okay, Pay in Heidi was asking. It's asking about the black uh, waterproof stamp ink. Can I can I make a a, a, a recommendation? Uh, okay, I wouldn't say like I I'm not like super good at it, but this is what I have: the Ranger archival ink stamp. It's acid free, permanent, waterproof. So it has been working really well. So. <laughs> I think Gina can, can suggest something. Uh, the whole body, <laughs> the whole of the body is hard for me. <laughs> you can always trace, you know, CB, uh, Chris. Like, I always trace. So, um, ahem, ahem. <laughs> yeah, I think if you make me draw like a whole person, like, I think I don't really mind drawing um, a, pers a face, but you, it's hard for me to draw like a body, like someone doing something. It's really hard to make it look nice. Always look like alien, like like mine. I know, right? <laughs> Penny and Honey say she's draw hands as fists, just like circle. You mean like Doraemon? Shenchuyuanshou. <laughs> you know Doraemon, the little uh blue blue robot cat, <laughs> Japanese robot cat with the the round fist. <laughs> Gina says she uses Tim Holtz archival. Ah, yeah, I know. Yes, I know Tim Holtz. Tim Holtz is quite expensive I think oh it's a oh it's a different stamp stamping for card I see I see I see whoopsie <laughs> I didn't know <laughs> you still do emboss ah okay all your stamps are at home but you have oh wow yeah everyone's bad at drawing hands maybe you should do a a a, a postcard exchange of our own hands or something like <laughs> Everyone draw your own hand and and send it to this unfortunate person who will receive a postcard of you drawing your own hands. <laughs> I think that would be really funny. <laughs> and I know uh, when I receive something from Pain in Hiding, you will be like a round little fist. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, I can't help, unfortunately. I am not good at it either. So today you see me suffer. So I hope I don't whine too much. Like I always whine. So if I whine, I apologize. First, for whining, because I'm definitely going to whine about how I picked the wrong thing and I, I am, it's going to be a bad experience, blah, blah, blah. So I hope that <laughs> you guys, uh, please pardon me if I whine too much, okay? Alright, so I'm going to, as always, um, as how I always do it, I'm going to trace. <laughs> I'm going to trace it because... I'm not that good. <laughs> I can't scratch. If I scratch, this will take like forever. So let me prepare my stuff. <laughs> oh, you got lots of oh Christmas stamps on Amazon. Tears and centers. Wow, so awesome. You you are like ready to make a like a lot of Christmas cards, and I have fun painting. I think it will be really fun painting Christmas cards. 
Nancy says, sometimes I draw the outline in my hand and decorate the middle of it. That's pretty cute. I think that's a very interesting way to have fun with, uh, with trying to draw hands. Like, I think we all want to learn how to do it better. Just need a lot of practice. But nobody wants to practice drawing hands. So, <laughs> yeah. So, Nancy, are you able to partic participate in the, new the latest Inktober? I know I'm actually thinking of doing Akitober instead, like drawing the architecture. Uh, maybe I just kind of show you guys the one that I've been eyeing so that you guys know less the, the alternatives because there are actually a lot of alternatives um, nowadays. Like, no, I wouldn't say no one, but there are less, there are more people doing non like um, Inktober stuff. So if you, I can just kind of quickly show you. So, yeah, that's this is the one. It's called Akitober 2022. And these are the buildings that you, um, like, that's in the, in the prompt. Um, and some of these are really crazy. Like, for example, I think the Forbidden City is crazy. It's such a big complex. I don't know <laughs> how, how to draw this stuff. You know, it's, it's crazy. You're interested? Really? <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe we could all do it. I think that'd be really fun. <laughs> Gina says, oh, she wants the watercolor and winter sea. Ah, landscape with glitters in, in the trees and snow. Wow, that sounds really nice. And then there are all these glittery like paints now that you can buy. Something that you can paint, I think. If you could do all the stamping and you can just paint the, the you know, do like a dark sky and then paint something like glittery stuff over. I think it's something that you can do. And Nancy says that, uh, yeah, Pin and Heidi, I can, I, you know, I can share this later on, on uh, Discord so that you can see it, okay, the October thing. Nancy says she's getting a new sketchbook and she already has a, oh, Inktober prom list, awesome. <laughs> CV says, oh, you do the, ooh, that's really interesting. The front gates only. Oh, but what? You mean like just the front gates of Forbidden City? Like, um, but it's a Forbidden City, not the gates of our Forbidden City. Oh, Nancy says she's already discussed some of the prompts with Papa San. Ah, I see. Oh, you never done buildings? Oh, wait, hold on. Recipe says, hand in October. No way. <laughs> I'm not going to do hands for 31 drawings. No way. No, 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 no. <laughs> I'm not gonna do that. I will die. Mm. I think I think recipe want to see me die <laughs> from drawing hands. So today you see how I suffer from hand drawing. Okay, I'm gonna trace like like I always do. Okay, so I hope to make this fast and so that Zhu Huan can quickly uh, can go and like sleep <laughs> because it's just so late. Zhu Huan, if you feel like you are too tired to continue, you can go and yeah go and take a rest, sleep well for or else you'd be like super tired tomorrow um for the rest of the day so that's not too good <laughs> Ram Sophie, i challenge you <laughs> okay let's all do it let's do hands <laughs> let's all do it let's all do hands so let's uh find a set of maybe for to for next for next uh super uh, our next challenge we would we shall paint hands <laughs> our next month's uh, challenge, you know, like we always do desserts, and for the second month, a uh, second week, I would like do anything. Sometimes I'll do pets, sometimes I'll do like landscape, so I'll do hands, like do six hands or maybe ten hands, and and Red Sophie will do it with me, all right? <laughs> oh, okay, sure, sure, go, 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 <laughs> go get your, your Amazon delivery thing. It's um, the most exciting thing is getting a delivery, like today. Um, we actually got like someone who sent us something from another, um, for another address, and 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 it was like somewhere something someone bought something from, um, uh, uh, what do you call it? A book is a depository or something, and we we received it at home, and um, yeah, so we've got to find a way to kind of return it to the person, you know, to the poor person who 
got it. Like he, she probably like receive a message to say that, hey, I have your book. You know, like oh, I've already delivered your book. But she, she's like, oh, what? But I don't have the book with me. So yeah, we will hopefully tomorrow our time to return it to her. So that's with um, where is my yeah? There you go. Okay. So that's the issue with having you know this kind of a uh, thing, uh, with delivered products things you know um like buying stuff on online um getting your stuff missing and stuff like that okay um let me just nothing's happening here because i am trying to get the um, picture up oops delete to edit like here insert the photograph and i'm just gonna put in her picture sorry for like kind of not showing you guys like what's happening because i want to like um, yeah, okay, do it here. Okay, stop it. Oh, there. Hey. Oh, you're back. Weird. It said seven stops um, away, got to front. Oh, it's already there? <laughs> Somewhere someone bought something. <laughs> oh, I, did I say that? <laughs> I sometimes I don't know what I say. Okay, yeah, so somewhere someone bought something. <laughs> And it arrived with my place. <laughs> so I thank that someone for buying. But then again, I mean, I don't blame them because we have we share the same house number. Just the street was a bit different. So, I mean, I don't know. So that could be the reason why. Oops, what happened? That was could be a reason why she, she, you know, it ended up at my house. So anyway, yeah, hopefully tomorrow I'll get to return that to her. <laughs> oh no, what that happens? What? <laughs> <laughs> that happens with food delivery. Oh man. Like for food delivery, like recent like recently after um we could like go and like eat um go out, I haven't been getting food delivered to my place. So yeah, I'm not sure whether they are better now, but I know like in the few in previously when I used to have a a, a a delivery that went to an a neighbor and and i don't know why the neighbor took it and we spent the whole more afternoon looking for our food <laughs> so it was just so funny <laughs> okay well sometimes it's ahead of time others i still wow 20 minutes that's too long oh nancy says 29 prom is oh, oh yeah it is <laughs> so so for you would you be drawing yourself like and then you said like you draw yourself and you put there like oh, oh on it <laughs> that is so cute i can't imagine like <laughs> nancy doing that so now i'm just um doing what i always do i'm just gonna trace it. it's gonna i think i'll do a wee bit of zoom in so i hope that i will not touch this too much let me just kind of adjust this wee bit yeah i think maybe like that Okay, I hope I am not, I will not try, I try not to touch it, um, and I'll just, yeah, trace quite accurately. I don't know how Zuhan does the sketching, and it's actually, this piece, I think the details, it's quite a lot of details, but I can't exactly make it out, like, in very great um, accuracy. So I don't know how Zuhan does this. Like how? I can't really make it make it out. Yeah, I'm just gonna try my best, okay? Like yeah, like you know, hiding behind the the glasses. I can't really see that well how it will actually look. But anyway, yeah. There, let me see. <laughs> That's cute, it's a bit weird. Oh, a pro a poorly drawn hand <laughs> would be perfect for an OO prom. <laughs> yeah, Zuhan could let us know like what is your your special, what is your uh, secret, you know, of drawing good portrait. I think it has, I don't know, I think he's a, you're not a, I don't know, are you, are you a, do you have a formula for it or it's more like based on your feels, your feeling of, of that, of that subject and I don't know. It'd be kind of interesting to find out. Whoa, what? Okay, hold on. Let me just kind of check that I got this right. Yeah, okay. She actually has really big eyes. Okay. I think, yeah. And she has very deep um, creases on her. So I'm just gonna make sure that... I have a feeling she's not gonna look like herself. 
after I'm done. She's gonna look really really weird. Oh well. I, I can try to be as, as, as accurate as I can, but you know, there's only so much I can do. So hands, should I like try to draw? No, I, I think I will not. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna just trace it. Sorry, Zuhan. <laughs> Let's leave that sketching on another time, okay? Oh, Zuhan is not human. <laughs> He's a human child. <laughs> Okay, not fan of portrait with blank expression or bored ones. Ah, yeah, I know, right? Ah, you started with the grid method. Ah, like, do you draw your own grids? And, whoa, two, 200. What? I cannot imagine drawing 200 faces. But then again, you know, like, given your rate, the rate of how you've been doing portraits, I think you probably have done about 200, right? That is crazy. Like, I think for me, I've done more than 200 buildings or houses or stuff, you know, like, yeah, landscape, stuff like that. I don't know. So I really think it's up to a person, like, you, if you really like to do something very much, you know, you, you kind of like to do it and it kind of makes it it's easier for you to do it and you can become better uh, because you just have done it so much, so many times that, it's, it's like a second nature to you. So, yeah, that kind of helped. Like for him, for Zhu Huan, he loved people. Oh no, what is that? Okay, like I think I probably need to, uh, I don't know, like back. Oops, back, back, okay. Yeah. There. So it's taking me a bit while, a long time to do it. Yeah, 200, what? Like, serious? You have done 200? Like, really? Pain in hiding? Yeah, I know, right? Ah, okay. When you started, you did one face a day for about a year. <gasps> wow. Wait, hold on. One face a day for a year? So you did 365 faces? There was once I actually did. I think I show you guys, right? Like, we had this um, uh, 100 human portraits in uh, a week or something. I, I did that once. Um, and I think it's a very interesting um, experience. Because, you know, I think after that, I, I started to like, not be so scared about drawing faces. Because, you know, you have done so many and it no longer seemed alien um, to do it. So, yeah. So I think I was... I was actually okay doing portraits for after that. But I think you really need to maintain that muscle memory and, you know, that kind of like um, momentum. Because once you stop it, right? Yeah, like now if you ask me to do it again, I'm going to tell you no. No way, I'm going to do it. I'm not going to do it. Yeah. So the, the, the more we paint, the better we get finding something. Yeah, I know, right? So I think if you like it, you, you really don't mind spending time on it because you really like that feeling of like, making something. So she's actually quite skinny. I think this, this, this girl over here, the portrait person, like the, the our reference girl. Okay. Okay. So I, I do hope that I will do her <laughs> portrait justice, like what Juhan did. Okay. I think I'm, I'm quite done with the uh, actual part of the, um, the, 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 the clothing and, and the outline of her, her top. And then I can start to transfer it and I can start painting. So yeah, I think that's the part that I'm like really, really waiting to do. Getting this accuracy done is just kind of the thing that I kind of want to quickly get it over and done with. I don't know. <laughs> It's not going to help. I mean, I, it does kind of help me to paint better, but I'm not sure whether that's helping me to be able to draw people better. Probably not, you know? Yeah, but anyway. Uh, okay, go, go ahead. Oh, okay. Oh, hold on, hold on. Oh, someone said something about... Um, a still live fruit in... What? Fruits? Fruit in a bowl, okay? When you're in school, now you always doubt what you do and often put off starting something. Who said that? Is it, is it, uh, 
<laughs> is it Nancy? <laughs> Zuan says, oh, is it Gina? <gasps> okay. The only painting I did this month was this portrait, and I could feel rusty. Ah. Uh, yeah, I think if I were to stop painting for a while, I think it will probably feel rusty as well, which is why I kind of do this almost like twice a week. So at least it's kind of helping me to, 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 to just kind of keep that like um, intuity, like I my comfort level with the paints and with the, with the ink, with the drawing. Um, so I think that's something that we really need to maintain. And um, CB says, for fear of it not turning out. Oh, a lot of stuff had gone in the bin. Oh, CB, were you one the one saying you did the bowl, food in the bowl, fruit in the bowl, or is it Nancy? I kind of it kind of got cut off, so uh, do let me know, okay. So anyway, I'm gonna trace this over, okay, and um, start painting. Hey, okay. all right. It's gonna be quite small, I must say. Like it's kind of a small, but I'm already liking how the picture would actually look. Yeah. Hmm, quite a nice. I think this is quite a nice uh, serendipitous find on, on the app because I remember I couldn't find like what we are supposed to do, you know, like we actually did the, the app that, that, that wheel plus, wheel, wheel, wheel plus thing and then we couldn't find anything and I was, everyone was like kind of falling asleep. <laughs> oh, so next week we are going to do also our portrait um, reference photograph we're gonna kind of like spin it or if anyone here has an idea like what they want to paint uh, let me know maybe you like to paint uh, your a dog or something oh Nancy oh Nancy hasn't done a football drawing eating one <laughs> okay okay what are you eating for lunch today or, or breakfast Nancy <laughs> are you eat, going to eat a do a uh, fruit bowl? Are you gonna have a fruit bowl? Nancy is so cute. <laughs> fruit bowl. <laughs> fruit salad. <laughs> yeah, I love that too. So when, I think uh, in Singapore, um, if you go for like a wedding dinner, uh, and you go to one, a wedding dinner that is not a very um, elaborated one, like it's just a, uh, not so, it's a kind of a, not an elaborated one. They would serve you a fruit salad at the end of the dinner. Um, as like a, a end, like a dessert, like an end of a, 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 a big dinner time, kind of a dessert dish. So yeah, so that's how we always have our fruit salad. So I don't know how you guys been introduced to a fruit salad. Like, so this is how I, I know. And normally our fruit salad is just very watery, syrupy. Um, uh, canned fruit and, and yeah I don't know I mean I used to enjoy it and then I think I kind of still enjoy it though like how, how do you how do you how do you get into uh, fruit salad oh okay Nancy Art says oh you're having a pancake with homemade lime syrup Ooh, how do you make that like do you buy lime and you make syrup from lime hmm <laughs> CB says it's like I am on a diet see a seafood diet <laughs> I love seafood too. I see food and I eat it. Yeah, that doesn't that, that makes sense. <laughs> Gina says she loves seafood. And then she says she uses fresh fruits. Oh that's nice. Yeah, and then what do you actually add? Like syrup to, to the fresh fruit? Because um as I said, we, we I in Singapore we use um those restaurants. They they actually use um canned fruits, you know? And and it's just sweet, very very sweet, syrupy, um, but I do like it when they add canned peaches to it. Oh, my hand is just looking bad, really, really bad, so bad. So, yeah, but it's okay. I'm practicing. I don't know how what would happen if I don't trace. Like it would probably look bad, but it's okay. I'll try to paint these in so we see how that goes. Oh. Huh? <laughs> CB is the pun master. <laughs> you know, like in, in, in Chinese, what they always call call people who do or say, who likes to um, talk about puns, who likes to make pun jokes, right? 
they they always call them the they call it 冷笑话, right? Lun is like cold. So it's the kind of like joke that makes people like freeze, like oh uh. <laughs> so they call it uh Lun Xiaohua. So I think he, he's one of those uh, uh people that, that would be like uh <laughs> that that would be his specialty, you know. But it's fun, you know, it's the kind of thing that everyone will laugh at. So yeah, keep it coming, you know, I think we all appreciate that. And, and, and it really, you know, can make people um, laugh and, and, and feel feel happy and feel good and kind of lightens the mood as well. So we, I, we always welcome puns, like jokes, puns and, and stuff like that. So keep it coming. <laughs> Love that. Oh, lime tree is in your... Oh yeah, I remember your front yard and a plenty. So wait, make a simple syrup, add freshly squeezed lime juice and... and yeah, I know! Wow, to do it after it's cool. So sometimes, like I remember when I was when I was in school, we were we used to have these uh, classes, um, home economic classes where they teach you how to, uh, girls will go for the home economic class where they will teach you like to cook, um, and sew and stuff, and guys would go for like technical classes, where they make you like learn how to do carpentry and stuff like that. So I don't know why girls don't have to do that because. Yeah, like why not, right? But anyway, when I was, I remember one of the dishes that we had to make, like when we first went to the class, was to learn how to make, um, I think it was lime juice. So I remember we had to like, uh, cook syrup and 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 put them, the lime in there, and and just dilute it with ice. That was quite a lot of sugar. So I was like three disgusted by the amount of sugar that we had to add to it but then again that was many years back so people were not so like uh uh healthy yeah <laughs> punk all right punk <laughs> okay yay i guess this is not too bad um let me see if i missed out anything so what i'll do now is kind of just kind of refine this and then i'll start to paint so i'm glad that i did this <laughs> <laughs> this is my cheating way um, of doing portraits. So sometimes I do like feel like some people will say like will ask me would I would I do portraits, but I am really not like think I don't think I should do it because I I I, I do this I I I don't sketch I actually do things like um, tracing. So. I don't know. I don't feel like I, I'm, I'm good enough to say like I'm a good portrait, portrait artist or something. <laughs> Nancy says, oh, there was a lot of guys in your home economics class. Oh, that's, that's good. You re remember making grape jelly. Wow. That is, that, that sounds very complicated, grape jelly. <laughs> oh yeah, it really look like Velma from Scooby-Doo. Yeah, she does, right? Like, especially the hair and her glasses. But I think Velma looks a little bit more, you know, yeah, chunky. A little bit. I, I think I, I like Velma. I think Velma is very... Um, I remember her as being very clever. Like, she's the kind with the brains and everything. And, and you know, like Scooby and... Oh no, who's Scooby's... Uh, who's Scooby's boss? boss? Who's Scooby's um, uh, owner? Like, he's, he's, his best pal... Is it Shaggy? Is it Shaggy? Um, I don't know. I think he's Shaggy. He's Shaggy. Yeah, he was. He's always like get getting into trouble and everything. So, <laughs> like almost all the trouble, like a hundred percent, like issue, like things that they will kind of like get into, is caused by him and Scooby, the two of them, always causing issues. <laughs> oh, Shaggy, right? I know Shaggy and and uh, uh Scooby were always into to make trouble for for everyone so yeah they used to show it i'm not sure if they still like where can we actually watch i quite like it like uh there's always like some kind of like crime fighting thing that they do like they always um, there's no goals you know somehow i think after watching um scooby-doo i don't feel like it's very scary like ghosts because i find that um they, 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 they kind of like dis, di, dispel like a myth buster kind of thing like there is no goals that actually leaves people just trying to uh, you know make it uh, trying to create these kind of like um, 
ghost like things to, 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 to do something, some bad stuff. So it's it's kind of an interesting thing and it kind of makes me. Yeah. Oh, being a kid in the 60s, Scooby Doo was your favorite. Oh, yeah, I, I, I don't know why I know it. I think it, it, they used to show the cartoons. Wow, what were the what were, what are the cartoons? Uh, what cartoons were popular then? Okay, for me, I mean, I'm a eighties, seventies baby, so I'm, um, I know like Care Bears, um, Smurfs, uh, Doraemon, uh, what else? Yeah, very pretty much those those things. Um, gummy bears. Uh, no, no, is it gummy bears? Gummy bears, yeah, gummy bears. Okay, um, things like that. <laughs> so, what about you guys? Uh, what are your 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 favorite cartoons, um, from your era? Pokemon. Anyone else want to share their favorite cartoons? Oh, this is oh, this is part of the. Okay, I need to use my favorite. Da -da. Okay, so this is um. This is my newfound favorite um, art tool, which is the kneadable eraser. Still doing very well. Um, helps me with a lot of um, issues I have. Oh, and this part, I think I need to do something. So the kneadable comes. Oh, gummy bears? <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Gummy bears bouncing here and there and everywhere. <laughs> oh, Captain Planet. Oh, I know that too. Captain Planet, he's my hero, right? He's, he's, eh? Is that Captain Hero? He's, oh my god. <laughs> oh, he, okay. CB says He Man, Pink Panther, Battle of the Planets. Oh, I've not seen Battle of the Planets. Top Cats, Top Cat. I have not heard of that either. <gasps> Donald Ducks. Oh, I love the Donald Duck. He's like, <laughs> quack, quack, quack. Yeah, I know Donald Duck. And, and Mickey Mouse. Oh, I know, I know, I know. Uh, Tom and Jerry. So yeah, it's also one of those favorite that we we we, we kind of like um, you know are are kind of like used used to, uh, especially when you go to like doctor's um office and and you you kind of need to sit there for a while. They kind of just show you like they always show you Tom and Jerry, and you know it's the kind of thing that everybody will not um mind because it is kind of funny as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Gonna take pollution down to zero. <laughs> oh, really? We could? That would also be a cool team, perhaps, cartoons. Oh, but then I have to trace. I'm not good at doing cartoons. You know that some people are so good at doing cartoons and, and comics. And, and I, I'm, I'm not good. Like, I do like to watch, but I'm really bad at it. Like, I don't know. Yeah, but that that's that's something that we could do if it if it's if it's um suitable. That's something that we could also do. Yeah. So the next the next stream, uh, we we'll probably do something some colors that's like related to to summer. I don't know to 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 autumn, a little bit like more earthy and 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 like a bit more uh rich red. You know that kind of thing like a burgundy like burnt scarlet kind of color. I think that'd be like interesting for for that 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 thing. Oh really? <laughs> oh Thunderbirds! Wow, I have not I have not heard of Thunderbirds, but are those like like robots or something? Oh, CB says Captain Caveman and the Jack. I know the Jacksons. I know I know I know that there's this guy like he he goes around. Oh, Flintstones! You guys heard of the Flintstones? Um, yabba dabba do <laughs> I think it goes like that. <laughs> oh yeah, I know, right? Like, um, Rhapsody style would be really good for illustrative style. So she could do like cartoons and, and illustration, cute animal illustration and uh, cartoon illustration kind of stuff. So yeah, I think each of us have our own, uh, you know, special, special power. And yeah, it's interesting to kind of like find out and know about everybody's special power. She's looking a bit weird because her hand is kind of chopped off here. So I'm gonna kind of just need to, uh, yeah, extend it. <laughs> Otherwise, she looks so weird. Okay, so this one, ah, uh, it'll be fun. I think it'll be fun painting. So yeah, let me just 
kind of just make sure that I get all these right and then I can start painting now. Yeah. Okay. So we have this part here like that. Okay. And this is kind of just, yeah, like that. All right. So I'm done. There you go. I'm going to start painting. Ah, Flintstone is <laughs> magical. Oh, we all know. You even saw the movie. Is there a movie, Flintstone? Do they have a movie? I know the Finstone. Oh yeah, yeah, they do. They do remember the live action movie. Yeah, I think I've seen it before. The Finstone. Jackson's was quite fun. Like they, yeah, they were trying to like imagine the his like the the future. Like, I wonder where the future is. Like, are they already at their future? Oh, does this woman have the ring? Oh my God, you're right. She has a ring in her nose, and her nose. You're right. Okay, let me. Yeah, let me do that. Like this part is a little bit weird. Okay, let me adjust. Like change. Let me just erase this and kind of, um, yeah, let me try to make this. She's looking a bit odd from the nose. Yeah, you are so right. I didn't really even see that. So cool, right? Like, she's one of the coolest that I've seen on, that we've done. Very, very cool person. Of course, you know, we, we are the coolest. Um, So we, we actually did this first as like a, uh, uh, what do you call that? Um, self portrait. Like we actually did. Uh, we had we had um Electro Pony who actually shared herself her own picture, and then I shared. And Zhu Huan actually did. We did Zhu Huan also as well. Eh, was it twice? No, it's just just once. And then um, uh, Electro Pony actually shared her photograph again, and we did her another time. So yeah, it's just this fun thing that we just uh we are the coolest. I think the artists are all the coolest. You know, I'm really bad at drawing teeth. Like, I think if there's any teeth that's, like, involved in, in the mouth, like, <laughs> it'll definitely look, like, weird. I don't know. How, how, she looks really odd right now. You know what I mean? Oh, she has a nose ring. You guys are good at it. Like, I think that for me, another issue, other than drawing hands, actually drawing a mouth with a teeth, it would look really weird. Oh, CB said, you never had a nose ring, but you pierce your own... What? Like, your own... What do you mean you pierce your own left ear twice? It's cool to have a earring then. Like, do you go to a sh somewhere to do it? Or you, you, like, pierce it yourself? That would be very... Yeah. <laughs> what? Eyes and apple? Like, in what way? What do you mean? How? How, <laughs> how do you... How, does that help? Okay, let me just... Oh. Yeah, there you go. These are the colors. I probably not be using. I'm not sure if I. So why do you use yellow at all? You did right. What? No, you just pull a needle through. Ouch! Oh my god, that is so painful. Uh, I I don't even want to think about it. So why do you actually use yellow for yours? She looked like she. That is a need for yellow. Is that? Do you use yellow for yours? You did. All right. Okay. Then I'll use. I'll use a wee bit of yellow because. I can't imagine not using yellow. I, I wonder how... I will use a wee bit, not a lot of it. Okay, then I'm just gonna want to make sure that I just make the... Um, yeah, uh, the, it lighten, lighten the these um, so that we... I'm not like... Yeah, we do not have a very obvious lines. Okay? Because this is, after all, watercolor painting, so we do not want to have too much lines in them. So I'm like still doing the drawing. <laughs> ah, let's do this. Hey yo, who's coming back? Someone said welcome back. Oh, she's back. <laughs> oh, you're to warm your. I see. Okay, okay, to warm your 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 red a little bit. You mean the the um yellow? Okay, okay. Oh, cr what? Crunching sound? Ouch! 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 That's painful. Are you? Do you like give yourself like an LA? Is it like through the top of the ear? Ouch! Ouch! Ew! Ew! <laughs> I remember going to somewhere to do it. Um, but I think I am allergic to non-gold. Um, so when I put a earring, I'll get like stuff on my ears. Um, like little like exudate coming out, no bone cartilage. <gasps> Ooh, ouch! That's so painful. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, 
I'm gonna start painting right now. So as always, um, when I do painting um, for portraits, right, I like to use this brush over here. This is the Revan from Jackson's. I like to use it because it has a lot of uh, character. So I think I might wanna do a very light yellow wash. Um, just really, really light around, like around her face, like the whole of her face. Okay, so I'm just gonna do a light yellow wash around it. Okay, so there goes. I shall just put water first. Oh wait, I'm gonna use another brush. This really big wall brush over here. Oh yeah, cartilage. Ow, you fell on what? You fell off a tree and bent your arm. Ouch! What you bent? What? Ow! <laughs> that sounds so painful. Uh, oh my god. <laughs> I think he he's you know what we call the. Uh, living dangerously <laughs> you are absolutely i i don't know what to say it wow that is <gasps> but um i you, you made a good recovery i hope <laughs> it sounds really bad like what you have done like what you, happened to you so i i'm just gonna you know just sweep it like through like um because you want it we don't want a wee bit of that yellow you know, for for this girl over here, just a bit of it, not too much, because we want that kind of tone to to just kind of um yeah, we just want a little bit of that yellow around her, okay, and then I'll I'll use uh what we have uh for the rest like of the yeah I'll use our color, the three colors that we have for the rest of the painting. What? Yeah, your friends? What friends are they? Like you are suffering and they're laughing at you? Oh no. Well, I can imagine all those things that you did like when you were young. Like, do you regret any of those stuff that you do? Oh, you're only 15. Oh man. Do you regret? Like, I guess you don't, right? Like, I mean, I don't know. <laughs> it's the kind of stupid thing that you do when you're young. But then when you're older, you just kind of laugh it off. Like, whoa, that's cool. And it's a kind of a cool story you can tell people that you actually did. Like, I don't really have any cool things to say when I was young. I was kind of the um, very... Uh, I don't think I do a lot of stuff when I was young. I think I was just spending most of my time studying. And, and I, I seriously don't have anything interesting to talk about. <laughs> well, at least you. <laughs> Oh yeah, I guess it's a good age. Yeah, that's true. Nancy, you're right. Like imagine falling off a tree at this at not like now. I I I think it's unthinkable. <laughs> I don't. <laughs> you probably yeah, it'd be difficult to to do anything right now. Like you be in cars and then you be like I don't know. <laughs> so that's that's one of the best time to to do whatever you want. You know, good age to to have fun and do what you want. So. Wow, how do you do the... Okay, I'm gonna just use a bit of that... that um... This is the red, so I'm just gonna try to use the... I'm just wondering if it's possible not to use uh, too much of the... Uh, let me add a bit. Yeah, just... She is very... She is very orange, like she's very ginger, her color. So I am not sure if I'm making her looking too strong. Yeah, we are though. Yeah, you survive. <laughs> Being silly, walking out slightly, be of slides at that edge. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh, you did sneakily buy. Uh, oh. Is that sneak? What? Why is that a a problem? <laughs> Pain in hiding, buying buying a K-pop CD from from a friend. <laughs> yeah, CB is one of the coolest person we know, right? Always doing things, um, that none of us thought of doing. Like I I don't know. Like when I'm old, I don't know what I'm gonna tell people. Yeah, I I live a careful life. I didn't do anything dangerous. Um, and. And then I die. <laughs> you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> yeah. So, that's that. 
I guess. I think I really have to use more yellow in that sense that we do... She has... Her, her hair is pretty orangey, so... Yeah, I just have to... Yeah, do that. So I'm adding more yellow in this sense. Lah. And I'm probably going to use a more red now. Okay. I don't know how I'm going to do this without a... Uh, Without adding the yellow. So this is one of those, you know, things that, uh, painting, that, that I have to use a yellow. I can't imagine not, not actually, not using a yellow for this. I use up quite a lot of my <laughs> mousiness sound. is <laughs> like a pro instead of a con. <laughs> no, no, it's not boring. It's always interesting to hear people's, uh, you know, um, stories of their lives, and and it, it's interesting to, to to hear because all the you know otherwise you're always surrounded by the same sort of people and you always be talking about the same stuff. So it's interesting to hear different perspective, what happened to different people at different times of your life, and yeah, thanks for sharing. You know, I think I'm sure it's something that is very close to to yourself and and to your your own to your to 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 you and you're sharing with us so we are we are very fortunate to to have you share uh your your history yay oh nancy says you went flying off a playground merry-go-round and you on her back and not holding oh my god i hope you were fine did you like knock off something <laughs> gina says my brush looks nice yes this is a uh, um rosemary dagger uh, it's a red saber dagger. So I have this for a long, long time. And I really, really love it. Um, so much so that I think you guys only see me use this. I don't think I've seen... You guys have seen me use or paint with other colors, right? With other brushes, right? So I use this most of the time. Because it, it can give me a lot of, like, um, details. Like, I can do a lot of things with it. Um, I can do very... Um, um, I can do very thin lines and can do thick lines can cover a big area so I, I, I really love this one a lot okay so there you go and then I'm um, just gonna this this set of three colors uh, it's really easy to get um, very dark tones with them so that is really really nice oh, very sweet <laughs> Ferris wheel. <laughs> you, if she fell off a Ferris wheel, she wouldn't be here. <laughs> Merry go round is kind of like a dangerous thing, so maybe I I don't know if I should share the RJS Pro story. Um, <laughs> he was at a um amusement park with one of his uh cousin, so I was there for some reason, and and. They were just going around in this amusement park in a you know that those little <laughs> you know the the, the, the the teacup and that that um teapot thing with a teacup around it and you just gonna like sit in your teacup two pencils to sit in a teacup you're gonna like kind of turn it and they went super super fast and what happened was like when the whole thing stopped and the two of them got out they nearly fell off because they went too fast and I even heard like kids pointing to to the two of them saying like look mom the two uncles are going so fast <laughs> it was so funny <laughs> yeah so anyway that was that was his story so I'm not sure if he's gonna come in and and clarify why he did those with that with his cousin but I think it was kind of the fun thing you know like guys how they like to do weird stuff like <laughs> like CB I kind of do uh, he do heroic things, fun things to do. So yeah, that could be his reason. <laughs> oh really? You scared of teacups? No, he has not gone on one again. So it's really funny. Nearly fell off, and and after a while, they the both of them walk funny. Like they were like kind of <laughs> falling o around, falling ar uh, over each other. We were, we we were like we were we were laughing. You know, it was so funny. <laughs> But I think that was probably the wildest thing he has done. I'm not even sure whether he has gone on a, a roller coaster. You know, I have. I've gone on a roller coaster before. But that was before um, I was told, like, not to go on one. Because of how, like, 
um, I have very high, um, I have very high prescription. So like for my for my glasses, so I'm not supposed to go on like um this kind of rise. So I haven't gone on after that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. He vomited. <laughs> It was just crazy, you know. I think it's the kind of thing that I, I, I will always laugh and I always remember. I think I will always laugh, laugh at. It's a kind of reckless stuff when you do when you're young. I think they, they kind of got scolded by grandma as well, right? Like, grandma was there and she <laughs> she wasn't very happy that they did that to themselves. <laughs> so that was... I, I had a good laugh. It's just... Yeah, it's just funny. So, yeah, I think... um. I think as when you are young, we do all sorts of weird stuff. So, yeah, um, not for uh, well, forgivable. <laughs> Except me, I don't think I've done anything weird. I don't think I've done anything crazy at all. So I'm the kind of boring person. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he didn't. <laughs> oh, what colors did I am I using for the skin tone? Um, I'm mixing all of them together. So this is more like I do have a bit of the. A yellow so i did say you know like even though we're using this um uh palette you could actually use a wee bit of yellow because otherwise we wouldn't be able to paint um our dessert remember we had to do the dessert so yeah which is why i said we had a bit of yellow so i think that currently that's that's what i'm using i'm using a a bit of that yellow color um uh, for for that cut for it for it yeah Take off the glasses while going a roller coaster on a Ferris wheel. Oh, how far? I think like a few, like a, a thousand or something. I had a thousand. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, Jess Pro said he vomited as he staggered back to grandma. <laughs> yeah, I think it, it would probably fall off. So for me, it was because they say that it would be, um, I, I run the risk of getting a detachment of my retina. Retina, retina. Yeah, that, that, you know, I for my sake, my eye, I, I shouldn't do that because, yeah, my I might end up, like, not having my eyes, uh, my, 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 the retina will come off. So, I can't, so, you know, it's, it's not like my glasses falling off, but it's, yeah, my eyes, maybe, like, the retina will fall off, you know, that kind of thing. <laughs> TV says, I went on a space mountain ride in Disneyland. It was horrible. Motion sickness on the what? Next three hours. <laughs> oh no. I actually did um go on a um ride uh in Taiwan. Um and it was okay, you know, I, I really enjoy it. And I think I went on it like twice. And it was pretty fun. But unfortunately I can't do it anymore. So <sighs> poor me. Boo <laughs> I can't do it anymore. Sad. So that's just me lah. Like my sadness. My sad life. Okay. I think I have to change to a smaller brush. Um, tinier. Tinier brush now. Okay. Because uh, this is kind of... I'm, I, I think she will look quite odd. Like she might look strange. Because of the... Kind of uh, how strong I... I use the colors, but I think it'll be, yeah, I don't know. We, we just kind of have fun with the colors. I think this is what I'll do. It will look a bit strange, but I think this is for me like a fun time to try out the colors. Yeah, the retina falling off. Yes. <laughs> yeah, I think I, I shouldn't do it, right? Yeah, I, I, I so no more. I'm not going to go on like weird rides. I think I shall not. <laughs> I just look from the bottom and say, Wave hi to all of you. <laughs> oh, the, oh, Nancy did that and she thought it was like Logan's run. <laughs> no. Oh, okay, okay. Disneyland in, in... You know, I have not been to a Disneyland before. I hope I can... Well, yeah, one day I will go. Finally, we can start traveling. So I hope that one day I'll be able to go to a Disneyland uh, just for fun of it. Yeah. I think Disney, even Japan has really nice Disneyland. I went, I think I, I, I almost stepped into, um, uh, oh no, no, no. That is Universal Studio in, 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 in Japan. Uh, when I was in, I think, was it Osaka? I don't remember. I think it's Osaka has the, yeah. I think it, 
it's Osaka that 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 I nearly went into, uh, that I nearly went. Um, yeah. Oh, you didn't get sick! Wow. Oh, it was in the dark. I see. Oh, dark and flashing light. Oh, that's horrible. Oh, you want to go? Oh, I want to go. It's in ja Yeah, Universal Studio. It's in. It's in Japan. I'm gonna. I want to go. It's. It's a. Uh, um. 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 Harry Potter Land. Is it? I don't know. I think it's a Universal Studio in in Tokyo. Uh, there's also one, if I'm not wrong, in 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 London. Um. Uh, yeah. There's several of these actually. So yeah, hopefully we could go. You know, once now it's it's uh we can travel so. Just something that we can, you know, plan. So always good to have this bucket list thing, you know, I, I probably need to put it in a bucket list. So that's probably like, if I were to go to London, that's probably one of the reasons I'm going to London. Things like Harry Potter Land or something, I forgot. Uh, is it a studio? I don't remember. Oh, you want to go Legoland? Oh, you mean like in, in, in Sweden? Is there one? Oh, is it Sweden? Is there one in, in Sweden? There's Legoland in Malaysia, um, but I've not been. It's like full of kids. Um, like parents would like bring their kids. Singaporeans, like Singapore parents, would bring their kids. Like for um, when when it's like children's uh holiday and generally when you have a lot of kids, it's not fun. Like it's it's just too crazy. The crowd, like you will die from the crowd. She's looking a bit odd. Like currently, I think she's looking uh, very patchy and. Too colorful. I think there's just too many colors in here. So it's looking kind of weird. Okay, let me just kind of try to make her put her features on. I think we need that. Otherwise, she's just gonna look so odd. Okay, let me just adjust it the colors a wee bit. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's do it. I think it could be like me just kind of talking like that. Oh, he's in Denmark. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, I haven't been to Disneyland in years. Hmm. I have not been at all, so it's fine actually. Um I I think I'm pretty bad <gasps> at it. Uh uh oh. Penny Hating uh Pain and Hiding say she's been to both but didn't have much memories. <gasps> okay. Ah Nancy says there's Legoland in Cardiff. Oh Isn't she in US? California has one. She probably knows. All of you are like junkies, right? Like you, you guys go to these uh, places so often. Like we all know all these. Like I have no idea. I have no idea. I only know like a few. I know like Harry Potter Land. Not all. And but you know the thing about these places is they actually can be quite expensive to go to. Like it can be, it, the cost can be quite high. Like super. Like quite expensive, so it's just something that I think um I don't know would you spend it on food or art or or on on rice like this? Just just thinking, just trying to find like for me I think it's um oh no hold on hold on tissue paper I need a tissue paper no 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 no, no. okay I'm coming I'm coming to save you oh Cardiff California ah I see. Okay. <laughs> Thinking Cardiff in, in UK. You know, there, there are a lot of like, um, repeat, like names, like in Singapore, right? We do have a lot of names um, of streets um, that's kind of named after places in, uh, in, 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 the, in, the, in UK. Like we have Somerset. I think I'm sure you guys have Somerset. There's like, um, yeah, Rochester. There's like um, Brighton, there's quite a lot like very um, British names. I don't know why like we have that, but yeah. I think it has to do with our, with our, um, like our, our history because we used to um, be a colony so in Singapore. So we, we, we have, uh, they, they kind of name it. After, uh, oh, she's looking weird. I don't know. I'm not. I am not feeling it. Okay, let me try. Uh, 
Oh, okay. Gina says um, she's in Washington, two states above Disneyland, never went. Ah, why not? I think it's interesting to just go and... At least for me, I think it's fun to just go in and see. Like, um, since you're so close, right? Just go and see what's happening there. and Just kind of like soak in the atmosphere and see people um, having fun, um, buying popcorns, just watching. I think this is kind of a interesting uh, experience to just see how people have fun. Oh, my mouth. I think she looks horrible. <laughs> I feel bad for her. I think maybe because I am not painting her upside down. No, you remember I have this thing about painting people upside down. Like for portraits, I normally try to paint it upside down. So let me try, try to do that. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm just gonna try painting her upside down. Okay, um, hope that would actually help because, yeah, I think it kind it will. So now she's just looking so weird. Ah, uh, and it's not her hands. I think the face is so tough. Like Zhu Huan, how you actually? How did you do that? Like I feel like I am, I'm. I can't do this. Oh. It's too strong. Okay, hold on for a minute. Let me just kind of adjust that. Oh, you always want to go to uh, Olympia State Park. Oh, not enough money. Oh, she looks a bit bruised. Yeah, she, 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 she does. I'm sorry. I try my best. <laughs> Okay, don't rush. Okay, I will try not to. Uh, I tell you sometime. Oh no, what is this? Okay, I mean, I think I need, need more red. Okay, more red. I think this red is a little bit too, um, too warm, too, too, too cool. And it's pretty small, so I think the problem is actually also with the accuracy because it's very, very small. It's a very small piece. I, I, I think I really, and like, I, I'm, uh, some people can just paint portraits so well. I don't know how you guys do it. <sighs> like, my portrait is never good. Like, now she probably looks like a clown because of the mouth. I'm sorry, girl. You're looking weird. It'd be better if I actually have a piece, bigger piece of paper. I think this is... The, the size is a, it's a bit small, so that's probably... I don't know, I'm not like trying to justify, but I think... Yeah, that's probably one of the reasons um, for missing the accuracy. Is it being too... a little bit small for the purpose? Okay. I don't know. Mm. Yeah. Blech. It's nice, really? Thank you. I don't know, I try. You know, Suhan and all the you guys are all always so so encouraging. I think the yellow is kind of, I don't know, not helping. Um, the yellow makes this piece, doesn't really see the, um, the uh, wound glowish that we get, uh, effect that we want. Okay, I'm going to paint the eyes, okay, just so that you guys can can see how it might look. So um, let's just paint the eye in. Okay, and this bit here. And here as well. Oh, 
oh okay so Gina says do you ever use saran wrap on your wet watercolor oh no I have heard of like that but I've not done it before but I think it's it's nice like it does give you very good like um uh texture thing yeah I think I've, I've seen um, people do it but I don't routinely use it um because I think that is you know um for my for my purpose I don't really need a lot of texture like that and I normally um uh, yeah so I don't know routinely use it but it's it's quite a nice trick pretty cool very interesting trick um that that we can we can actually do yeah thanks for sharing Gina okay so now I am just going to to paint a eye row okay hmm This might look like an illustration in the end, I think. Because it's just so much detail and so so it's actually quite um not very uh a piece that is not um very close up. So we don't really see um a lot of like the subtle differences. Like everything is just very um strong. Like everything is very small, so I can't really make and my brushes are not that big. And not very that small, so I can't really make a uh, very strong, very um a lot of details. I can't do very good details with this, so that yeah, that could be a kind of a small issue, okay? Yeah, so that's the earring, and I'm gonna kind of like also paint the ears. So I'm just gonna use a bit of red. Oh, it's too red. A bit of yellow. I think somehow that, that idea of using the colors um you know um as you see um in the picture for me it's still hard to shake off. So I'm just kind of painting based on the colors that I see. Um and and I don't know, you know. If if I can get away from that I think that would be good. But some somehow you know, I, I still am quite obsessed with trying to get the right colors going on in her eyes and, and her hair and things like that. So this piece is gonna look more like um uh, illustrating I think it'll be like more illustrator style than than a painter painter style. Okay. Yeah. Ah, Gina says, oh, oh, no, 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 no. Yeah. don't forget the hand, okay, I will. <laughs> you try a lot of different things in paint when you really paint. Okay, you paint every day now, it's like a part-time job. <laughs> no boss and no income. <laughs> I hope I'm like, like sometimes I really wish that I can retire and I kind of like work on things that I really like. So this is my her, like my girl. <laughs> she looks a bit odd, but yeah. Uh... She looks, she looks a bit odd here. Like very illustrative, isn't it? Okay, I'll paint her hands now. But I really, uh, maybe, you know, when I, 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 I think for now, I'll still work. But I hope that, you know, in the future, um, I would, I mean, I am sure of, uh, uh, many of us here would love to work, I do, like do art for, as a as a job you know like not say as a job but like just do it for have a leisure and maybe like do it every day without thinking too much so yeah i i, I think for me um I, I do hope that one day i can really just do art for for the just all the fun of it and also maybe earn some money you know if i happen like people do pay me for my art piece i'll be really really happy um, and, and every day I'll just wake up and I'll paint. I think that's everyone's like dreams, right? <laughs> to do so. Is she looking good, really? <laughs> yeah, I think that's the way. I, I enjoy your your life and enjoy what you can uh, do and be your own boss, draw art, um, be, play with your paint and your materials and buy the paint that you like, make yourself happy. Yeah, so yay. That's that's something that and and um pain hiding, are you still around? 
would do, have you actually thought about like not working um and doing art just just for the sake of like just just as a job you know have you thought about that oh for pressure i do for, for pleasure i do too meaning like yes <laughs> that's yeah i think um I, I think i have friend ask me this question before so and and an answer my friend i said um i don't think i will i think i will work like even though you know it, it when i um because um if if you stop working and art becomes like the the primary source of income it will become very stressful right so that that was what i told my friend but then like sometimes like recently I've been like so burnt out at work that um because it's just so much work I I am I cannot even like today I can't even I can't even prepare for work next week like I'm supposed to go on a, an audit because I'm an auditor right but I can't really I don't really have time to 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 prepare and I had to do go for a lot of meetings and coordinate lot coordinate a lot of stuff and I just yeah I just feel so tired and I'm like okay I think. I think I can just like do art for the rest of my life and I don't need a job. <laughs> I don't need another job, you know. So, yeah. <laughs> okay, so let me just turn that around and see. Oh, her hand looks weird. Ah, why did I make her hand look so weird? Oh, this is so wrong. No! The hands! Ah, not for pressure, but okay, not for income, but for pressure. Out there. Oh, I cannot do art for income. Oh, okay. Gina says I could sell my art, but I don't want a business marketing. My work would be too much work. Yeah. No to quitting job. Not for pressure. Oh, wait, not for income, but pleasure. Yeah, I think so. Gina says she has. Passion for art, that is why she's here. She loves talking art. <laughs> I know, right? It's turned purple. <laughs> I am so sorry, girl. <laughs> you are so right about the... Okay, let me just kind of like take off some of the... I hope it's not too staining. Oh man, it's a wee bit staining. Her hand's looking very, very bad. Very purple. <laughs> The hand is just so tough to paint, you know. I'm gonna turn it around. I'm gonna kind of approach it like from a, uh, yeah, it's looking really bad. And I'm not using a lot of the green, which is weird. Like, I should try to use more of that green. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. So I think the um, yeah, the thing about art and 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 about work and yeah. It's always a constant question, always a battle of things like questions that we, we can we, we need to sometimes ask. Sometimes you know it's easy to answer, sometimes it's not. Um always depends on what's happening at the moment for me. Like if my life is not so bad, you know, at the moment, I probably say, Yeah, sure, you know, I art is for fun. But when it gets bad, you know, I will like, oh no, maybe I should just do art and not do work. I just so prefer to do work that kind of thing ah oh, her hand is so black sorry <laughs> hey you're back okay <laughs> oh no i feel like today like she's not she's not like oh especially here i think i have to just kind of take off some of these it's looking really bad And I think the hand here as well. I think I just have to loosen some. Yeah, just, yeah, kind of get some of the colors down. Like, yeah, just kind of like put all the, yeah, you know what? I think I'm losing some of the looseness. Everything is looking too, uh, too structured. So I'm going to do some weird shit. <laughs> weird stuff, sorry. What? Yeah, just say. I'll do some weird stuff right now. Um, by adding some colors. 
to the uh, to, to our painting okay so this is the part that I really kind of like which is the adding this um, stuff to just kind of oh wait this part looks weird let me adjust this a little bit okay yeah like that okay so just to kind of oh i forgot about her, her skin tone so let me add that part it's a lot of red though for her face here so i will kind of adjust that a bit later like i will try to okay that's a bit of blue because it's actually like in the dark over here okay yeah and think it is until here if i'm not wrong and then it, there is a wee bit here and some here we just kind of need to let it dry and then hmm looking more weird but a little bit odd Oh. Oh, you never do? Oh, 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 oh. Okay. <laughs> there are more artists in the world, more so than medical. I see, I know, right? <laughs> I need to get to your level first, to one. <laughs> yeah, I think it's interesting to hear about everybody's plan, uh, with, you know, about themselves and about art and stuff like that. So for me, um, yeah it's interesting to hear what people are doing uh, so now i am uh, still trying to get it to dry some parts of it to dry um, i will have to work on her face a little bit i think she looks a bit odd like because the, the paper is kind of warped in a way and i really have to make this part a bit more blue um, and also her mouth i got, need to be able i need to to adjust it so that it looks a little bit uh, more um, uh, define I don't define it okay so that's that's my primary pup like what I have to do in the next uh, you know in you know uh, right color currently okay so whoa so weird <laughs> this is a weird weird piece I can't say this is my best but it's just the kind of thing that you just have fun with it's, it's fun to do somehow her face is kind of small you know like i don't know why why is it looking so wappish like her face is looking small <laughs> beard okay i'm gonna need to add a bit more of uh, dark just dump more colors here like yeah and then just kind of let it yeah okay The face is looking so funny. I think there's also a bit of like grey here. So now I'm, I'm trying to just kind of set the, put the uh, light and dark uh, areas um, at the shadow. So I think that's a shadow here, the hand on the face. So her face really looks a bit bruised, I'm sorry. <laughs> Looking odd. Oh, so many bar. Okay, okay, go, go, go and see, go and see the dogs. Dogs barking at night mm, is pretty scary. Let me just add a bit of yellow. Okay, to over here because I want to just kind of make sure that that is kind of sh like we do have a bit of that yellow coming in uh, because that is a window and that's kind of shining on her so I'm just gonna add a wee bit of that yellow 
And then over here, there's also a bit of that yellow color that we're gonna just kind of highlight it like on the face here as well. It's a bit, a bit of yellow. And I think I might just, yeah, probably um, think about what I need to do. Maybe the eyes. Let me just add a bit of, uh, okay. How oh, really? Thank you, thank you. Oh, she looks like a nurse caretaker, and the angle is almost like you come. Oh, okay. Really? Uh, she looks like, like her, she has this really concerned look on her face, isn't it? <laughs> Nancy says there are a lot of Nancy, uh, uh, amateur arts artists in the in the world and craft people. It's a form of therapy. Stress reliever, unless you're in a competition. Yeah, I think like um, that's true. There's always never like I don't think there's anything about art that you need to work to like you you you. Um, there's no competition, you know, when you are in doing art. It's always about, uh, for your own enjoyment. I think art is is interesting in a way that it's kind of self self fulfilling. It makes you, um, feel good about yourself. Um, the actual like if you like to do it. It makes you happy when you do it and when you have done something really well or you've done something that you think is really good you feel good and it just makes you want to do it more so that's i think it's like a it's an end it's a process it's also an end to 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 you know um yeah to itself something like, and on, on its own like it's also an end um that you can seek uh to to to, to do uh, to get to a stage that you want to get to so that's about uh, art in general. Okay. It's a little bit hard to get that. I'm really bad at painting hands. Like even with, um, with the pencil, uh, with the the draft, I like <laughs> with the tracing. I am still. Oh my god! Like she looked like she has. She just killed someone. <laughs> like the the blood just dripping off of her fingers. Oh, I'm so bad at this today. Like, I am not... Huh? Really? It's looking good? I don't know. I have... I don't... I don't know. I don't think so. But thanks. Thanks for that. Yeah. I think I need to wait for this part to dry a little bit more and then before I add these uh, details in there. Yeah, and I think her eyes as well need to add a little bit more blue, dark blue to it. <laughs> oh, CB says, oh, she has just done a 14 hour shift and her boss has told her that she needs her to say what <laughs> she killed her boss no <laughs> that explaining the the blood in her in her hands right <laughs> it's like oh i'm gonna kill you <laughs> you guys like all the people that i paint have some kind of story to tell like you guys are so imaginative <laughs> have you all caught the the imaginative bug from uh from from Rhapsody, who always have an idea like a special uh, kind of a uh, interpretation of of the subject that's uh you know in, in 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 our in our painting you guys are getting more and more imaginative can do a storytelling right tell a story uh, based on of of your of your subject of your your portrait subject <laughs> a nurse who who killed her boss <laughs> oh yeah i know the uh, coloring books and stuff, but I think that's it's. Art is not just about you know making, uh, selling art. It's also about having fun and and exploring it and 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 kind of enjoying yourself uh, while you're doing it. So I think it's a, something that is is more than just you know making art to sell to people. It's also about having fun and 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 learning uh, feeling good and it's multifaceted i think yeah 
a lot of people actually make money from I think uh, doing classes and and stuff like that, learning and and teaching. Okay, so I'm trying to like paint the glasses on. <laughs> I know the what title of this we should be. While you are sleeping, I know. Really, thank you. <laughs> Oh wow, you used to do paint by numbers when you were 19. <gasps> yeah, I, I used to do a lot of... Uh, yeah, do I? I do a lot of coloring books, but they didn't have numbers on them. <laughs> CB says, Oh, she's a mannequin in a shop window who comes to life at night. It's now daytime and she waits longingly for the shoppers to go home so she can be free. So many ideas, lah, you guys. <laughs> that would be really good. You know, this reminds me of this uh, song by Sam Smith. Um, and, and there's... Um, let me show you guys. I think it's called... Oh, no. Let me let me look for the, the song. I'm not going to play it because if I play it, <laughs> they are going to like censor my... Uh, hold on. Sam Smith's song. Songs. It's a recent song. Um... Is it Do You Sleep? Is that the one? There's one song where, where it, it was about like mannequins. Like, do you guys know which song that is? It's like a mannequin. Uh, maybe, let me just kind of look for it. I'm not going to play the music because I, I know like I might get, they might kind of like uh, have copyright, like tag my, my, my account. So I'm just going to kind of look for it. Let me look for it. Sam Smith. Smith song. Too good at goodbye. Is that the one? Um, I'm still looking for it. <laughs> Let's let let the water color dry. I'm just gonna kind of look for that song that I saw. Maybe I just have to put in like MV. Too good at goodbye. Is it? Oh, and CB says to die for. Is it really? Let me kind of find it. To die for Sam Smith. To die for. Da, 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 da. Ah, yeah, this is the one. Yes, to die for. So if you guys go and like find, look for it. Um, look for the song. It's very nice. I love the song, and it's about like people. Uh, let me just kind of like show you guys. Yeah. So there you go. Like, let me just kind of. Yeah, like, there yeah, are these people. Can you see, like, all these mannequin, Like, just kind of, like, waiting for stuff. Like, ooh, is it exact the sa exactly the same thing? Like, just kind of waiting for, for the shop to close and it's it singing. You see? Yo. <laughs> you're right, you're right. Oh, I have a song by him. Somewhere, somewhere, originally sang by Julie Garland. Let the wind blow. Is that such a song? Really? Is that is that so? Yeah, but I think it's 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 you guys are so imaginative. <laughs> it's interesting. it's always fun to to speak to all of you because you all guys have all these like ideas like what I could call this <laughs> while while you sleep or like um behind behind the, the window, behind the, the glass the shop window or something beyond the shop window stuff like that so let me just go and yeah i think her eyes looks a wee bit strange so let me just kind of check what color i'm actually at now so i've been looking for other stuff so much that i haven't been like painting sorry and i think i need to kind of uh yeah paint this a bit more like darken this area a bit because this is obviously very blue, okay? I think there's also quite a pale cast to it, so I have to add a bit of water to this. Okay. And then I'll do the same over here as well. Yeah. But I think I do need to add a bit more of the blue. Okay. 
because of obviously there's a little bit of like a uh, reflection going on okay some like blue reflection so I hope it's not gonna look like she has like blue uh, eyeshadow or something okay so that's some of that blue from her, from her glasses okay and uh, we might need to add a bit of a dark color uh, maybe a light like a white color to it later on I think I should let it dry because now it's still quite wet yeah and then I'm uh, just gonna and I think over here there's some of these that I have to paint because this is some of the um, plastic molding thing we have to kind of uh, put this is weird <laughs> oh well it happens you know sometimes it, it, it just you know we just have to she actually has quite a lot of freckles so yeah we got to be i got to be a bit careful uh, i have got to if no later on what i'll do is actually add in her freckles really slowly okay but anyway i think this is probably quite late now it's like 12 so i've really done about two hours of painting um i shall probably stop really soon uh, i might paint later on like after this to kind of try to get this like done because it's still a little bit like not like not completed um yeah but i think i'll stop here she kind of look a bit odd right now i don't know <laughs> amanda looks longingly at her, her at racky she had a crush on him since fifth grade but isn't sure how to oh is that a is that a song <laughs> that's pretty interesting so anyway guys i think i guys and girls i think i will stop here um uh, yeah because i think i will think about what to do with it i'm quite okay with how it's going on but um yeah maybe i will just work on it a little bit more later on like like maybe in a while yeah <laughs> and probably when it Oh, he just made out a scenario. <laughs> so there are possible things that could happen to her, right? Looking at him. Like looking at her, 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 her what do you call that? Um, Amanda, right? Looking at her crush. <laughs> Very interesting. Very imaginative, right, you guys? <laughs> Last. Oh, now she looks like she has very special glasses on. I know, right? Like the top is being like purple and then that kind of thing. She's... It looks great! Like, right, real? Like, really? I don't know, it looks a bit... I don't know. I think it's interesting. Like, I've not painted something like that before. So I think I, I quite... I think it will look nice as a... Like a water... Maybe I'll have to darken her face, like her, her complexion here. Because now she looks like... She's kind of punched all over her face. <laughs> like, like this part, she looks like she's just punched. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Nancy's. So much of Amanda's mind. The stench of <laughs> what the? <laughs> hey, you guys, <laughs> can you can we like combine all these up? Combine all these, and I'll just kind of put it like a story. Like maybe we could write a little like continue yours. We will start with the. This is the first part of our story, our murder she wrote kind of story, and you guys can kind of continue and finish up the story at the end. Um, and next week we will share like a a a a, a story a, 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 a what a murder she wrote kind of story so that we all can uh, have fun and laugh at <laughs> while I share the picture. Yeah, I think it'll be interesting. Let me kind of extract this. Maybe I should extract this. <laughs> oh yeah, okay. She needs to kill her boss. <laughs> you guys come out of the, with these have you all been watching too much stories <laughs> anyway thanks it was fun to to hear from you guys um you know um and and also listen to all your 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 interesting story and how you guys have been doing art and 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 yeah just yeah really thankful for for the company while i paint 
and um, I hope that I can uh, make her look more presentable you know so hopefully in the next uh, when I share this tomorrow I'll probably finish up and then I'll share this with everyone and then you guys can kind of like tell her story the story of Amanda and Reese right <laughs> what <laughs> but her, the, her boss is Reese's dad <laughs> she could just tell Reese I don't know no she wouldn't like I wouldn't do it like if it's that my, my crush's dad I can't kill him, right? Can I? <laughs> yeah, thank you guys. Thanks, Nancy, for sharing um, the art, her, her, your, your uh, plum uh, um, pudding. And, um, is it pudding? Yeah, pudding. And, and thanks, um, also thank all like Siok and Zhu Huan for contributing to the show and tell. Um, yeah, thank you so much and have a great week. <laughs> make her look pretty okay 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 I will I will try to make her pay pretty so tomorrow later on I'll pay I'll try to make her look prettier so that she will be presentable for her date without killing Riz, Riz's dad okay <laughs> yeah I know right <laughs> it's 4am you're still awake that's cool <laughs> thank you bye 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 Nancy bye Rep Sophie bye CB bye Zhu Huan uh, bye Gina um, and Nancy's um, sleep well, do Juan. Do do sleep now because it's really really late. <laughs> take care, uh, CB. Take care, everyone. Bye bye. Hope to see you guys again. And um, yeah, bye bye. See you guys next week. I will be doing a no pain. So I'll be talking about uh, our new limited color palette, a limited palette challenge, limited color palette challenge. Uh, what colors we are going to use I'll also be kind of trying to look for a new reference photograph <laughs> and also uh, we will be swatching what uh, Pain in Hiding oh I forgot to say thank you to Pain in Hiding um, what she has sent, it, sent to me okay night night <laughs> okay we should have oh yeah so next week next challenge the next month's challenge we would actually have uh, look for a wrist Reese's uh, portrait so that we have Amanda and Reese and we can write her their love story over here okay <laughs> okay that's a great idea Rep Sophie <laughs> bye bye everyone <laughs> Zhu Huan is laughing so do do look for a suitable uh, portrait alright <laughs> and the book closes they kiss <laughs> that is pretty smart <laughs> so we got to put him like like close like here right and she should be like the hand should be on this side you know like how the koreans do like like this you know so well, like, this hand goes this way reese is gonna have his hand this way so please um go and look for a reference photograph of a guy with a hand going this way and we could have them in in a matching portrait okay <laughs> What am I doing? <laughs> okay. <laughs> bye bye everybody. <laughs> That's fun. <laughs> See you guys again real soon. Ciao. Bye bye.